Hello, you are on the channel of the company AutoStrong M. On our channel, we disassemble motors, gearboxes, and tell absolutely everything about spare parts. On the AutoStrong M channel, you can see everything about spare parts, and in the company, you can buy excellent spare parts. With a guarantee and fast delivery, You asked, we've been preparing for a long time. Right now, we're entering the top 10 ranking. 10 most reliable diesel engines. We've selected engines you might come across. Cars with these engines drive, and they don't get sick. In this ranking, all engines with the Kona fuel Human system, rail, which in no way diminishes their reliability. Incredibly, but it's a fact. And it's true for every... We took a closer look at the these engines. The tiniest overview of All link. the links will be in the description. Uh. So, 10th place. We've stretched to include the Toyota D4 d engine in our rating. It debuted in 2005. It has an aluminum block in its And it year. was available to everyone. Two major European Toyota models as well as Lexus IS. The 2-liter version has a power of 126 horsepower and the 2.2-liter version has from, from 136 to 177. The timing chain is reliable and doesn't raise any complaints. The fuel system denso is durable but needs replacing. Fuel filter should be original and preferably changed more often together. With an oil filter, the Yotovsky diesel made it into our ranking by a hair's breadth because it was only since 2009. It came off the assembly line with a defective cylinder head gasket. It was blown, requiring the head to be removed and the gasket replaced with a new one. Also checking the cylinder head and block was necessary. Regarding the erosion of the aluminum alloy, in principle such an engine turned out fine. Fent. Uh, so ninth place, Hyundai KIA engines with a volume of 1.5 and 1.6 liters, belonging to the large underbrush family. This family includes engines with a capacity of about from 1.1 to 1.7 liters. Mechanics and owners know this engines as D3E and D4E. These engines were designed for European Hyundai and Kia models. They are the most popular here. These are Hyundai Gets, Hyundai Matrix, Hyundai A30, Hyundai Elantra, as well as Kia Seed and Kia Soul. Top choices. Engine version 1.0 TDI. Autostrong MA17 is found in Autostrong MA and Sportushka. Uh, they are less popular here. The engines are based on an iron cylinder block, have four valves per cylinder, a chain driven camshaft, fuel system, Bosch with electromagnetic injectors. Turbochargers on most versions with variable geometry. No weak points in the engine were noticed, but it should be checked. It's important to note that two separate chains tend to stretch and start to rustle at both 80,000 kilometers and 200,000 kilometers. In short, a decent Korean cake that rightfully wins. Ninth place in the Auto Strong M ranking. Nissan's engine turned out to be a good one as well. This refers to engines with a displacement of 2.2 and 2.5 liters. Liter, which was introduced in 1998. Its early versions were equipped with direct injection with a distributor type fuel injection pump. 44. This engine was installed on the Almera. Premier Almera China, T. China, also known as Extra. This engine was also received. Purely Japanese models of Nissan. Nissan engine is and good. Lasting. Both its versions with the distributor type fuel injection pump and the common rail system deserve respect. But let's fuel. And Nissan is It's not worth it from the barrel because the components of the Denso system are very expensive in repair. Timing chains require close attention. There are two here. And both are dual row. They may disappoint with stretching at a mileage of 200,000 kilometers. Accompanied by noise, one of the chains can also to tear with very sad consequences for the engine. There is also a third chain driving the vacuum pump. It has similar stretching properties. Another feature of this engine is the absence of hydraulic lifters in the valve drive, which necessitates fuel consumption. Eight to ten years to check thermal clearances, but in principle, the little engine is quite all right. Let's move on. 
So seventh place, the Renault 2.0 DCI engine, which debuted in 2006, has gone a long way. Work on the mistakes made by its predecessors with a volume of one and a half liters from 1.5 to 2.2. Firstly, it eliminated the complicated mechanical solutions that were used in the 2.2 engine. Secondly, it got rid of the wear of the connecting rod bearings. This problem was inherent in engines with a volume of 1.5 liters and as a result, a simply normal modern engine with a common rail fuel system was created. It has a cast iron engine, cylinder block variable geometry turbocharger and single row timing chain all major Renault models from the Megane and Laguna onwards acquired it Los Angeles Aris as it does of say and it was also installed on the Nissan Qashqai and Nissan Xtra it also has to put this on but it was also fitted on commercial vans Chavi but what was said traffic near Moscow old Vivaro this engine produces between 90 and 180 kilometers per hour. A horsepower. The 2.0 DCI engine is all good. The main thing is not to forget to change the oil every 15,000 kilometers and to refill the oil. Don't care about the quality. At the mileage of 300,000 kilometers, the engine may start to clatter and also starts jerkily due to a stretch chain. Timing belt. Overall, a solid seventh place. So, sixth place, a diesel that is available. Worth mentioning is the Italian 1.9 JTD. It was in the year 1997 that it became the first passenger diesel with a common rail fuel system. The first one. The versions had two valves per cylinder. In 2002, a version with four valves per cylinder appeared. Hydraulic lifter. The engine has a cast iron cylinder block and a timing belt drive with a replacement interval of 120,000 kilometers. Valves in the version develop power from 80 to 120 horsepower and K. This disease is valves are power and 16 valves from 130 to 170. They were installed in every Alfa Romeo as well as in Fiat Lancia. What? and even Suzuki. With this engine, there are society descent and this engine, there are basically no problems. The only thing is that on the 16-valve versions, there are problems with the swirl flaps. In the slats, the general thrust of their drive comes off, causing the slats to start living a life of their own and interfering with the engine's life. It lacks air under load, which causes it to decrease, and black smoke appears. Also through the broken plastic bushings, out through the exhaust manifold exits, inflated air, and soot and oil seep outwards. All this deposit appears on the manifold and near the glow plugs. Basically, we are done with this engine. We'll include a whole family of resourceful and durable Mercedes at this location. Diesels with four, five, and six cylinders. And let's look at the most popular ones. OM611 and OM646. These are nearly identical engines, differing slightly in fuel With the system. system and attached Let's equipment. start by noting that some guides mentioned the designations 2.1 and 2.2. These markings are both on top because the actual volume of this engine is just under 2,150 cubic centimeters. So these engines do not have inherent flaws. The Bosch fuel system is extremely reliable, the turbochargers are embodied, no questions arise. Dual row engines. The timing belt does not go less 500,000 kilometers. Some versions have swirl flaps that break the seating. And a hole in the intake manifold. In general, with Mercedes diesel engines, everything is fine. But Sprinter van and minibus owners might disagree and we must acknowledge their 50th anniversary. An excellent experience. The thing is, OM611 diesels and especially OM6406 often died. These engines are in the in top powerful versions. It does not tolerate driving with overload and tight accelerations. The opinion is coming that the engineer saved on steel for the crankshaft. Uh, but there are no such problems with five and six cylinder engines of 2.7 and 3.2 liters. No crankshaft issues. In general, if it wasn't for that crankshaft issue, this engine would have climbed higher in our ranking, but a solid fifth place. So fourth place, engineers at Honda created their first diesel in the year 2003. 
the 2.2 CD TI engine turned out to be very successful. Even an aluminum cylinder block does not cause no problems. The timing chain is reliable and lasts 300,000 kilometers. Unlike other Japanese manufacturers, Honda did the choices in favor of that. A Bosch systems. This means that the high pressure fuel pump injectors last as long as possible and their repair won't cost you a fortune. This diesel. It's not so popular here. You can find it on all the big Hondas, Civic, Okona. Seventh to eighth generations. CRV, second to third generations. Power. Uh, this engine has 140 to 150 horsepower. Fourth place. Is Chica. In our opinion, this is really the coolest of that Japanese diesel. We're approaching the top three. So. That's three. it. Concern quest. Screen. which includes Peugeot and Citroen introduced your first diesel with the common rail system in 1998 we know it as the twin this was Igor Negoda in the first version the GBC they had eight valves but in 2003 two camshafts were placed in the cylinder head and 16 valves the intercimal the intake camshaft is driven by the exhaust chain the timing drive is a belt like in the eight valve engines both in a valve and in 16 valve versions cut versions Tornado. and replace every 120 eight kilometers engine. engines are simple and good expensive problems may arise the Siemens fuel system which is rarely found on early versions mainly on eight valve ones a Bosch fuel system was installed 16 valve seconds of engine. a bit more complex but not too much fast yeah the timing chain might stretch on early models Models. Take a look. The manufacturer replaced it with a more reliable one. The Siemens fuel system does not tolerate unskilled replacement of the fuel filter and the Delphi fuel system equally does not tolerate unskilled fuel filter replacement. May upset with the repair cost. Essentially, this data. The engine is quite reliable. Hence the well-deserved third place. So second place. Now let's talk about a cooler Volvo diesel, the five-cylinder D5. Created by Swedish engineers and has nothing to do with diesels. FSA 4, which was also installed in Volvo cars, it doesn't work. It existed from 2000 to 2015. It was installed on Volvo S60, S80, V70, XC90 and XC75. Originally, the volume of these engines was 2.4 liters. Then shorter versions appeared, 2 liters. With the factory firmware these engines developed, these engines are made with an aluminum block featuring four valves per cylinder. A tooth belt is used in the timing belt drive, which needs to be changed every day. 120,000 kilometers with variable geometry since 2009. Powerful versions were equipped with it. Two turbochargers. This engine practically has no problems. But if you buy a diesel Volvo release from 2009, to 2008 then it has issues 2010 uh, be sure to check if the accessory drive belt was replaced under warranty with its steering with the video because the video was dropped with cancer the belt could have been tightened under the timing cover could get caught under the timing belt the timing belt could break Piston valves naturally will be encountered. Early versions feature a Bosch fuel system with precision grade injectors. This is important to understand. Consider when replacing injectors. Since 2009, this engine has been fitted with piezo injectors, a confident second place. What do you think we put first? So meet the inline diesel six cylinder BMW with a 2.8 liter capacity and five or uh, three liters which appeared in 1998 and continued to exist 2014 years its production ended in 2012 incidentally the flagship bmw engine was not only used in bmw the 2.5 tfsi version with a power of 150 horsepower was installed on the opel omega v three the M57 engine has been upgraded several times. The most significant upgrade was in 2005 when the block made from aluminum, the cylinder heads got new camshafts and larger intake valves. 
the Bosch fuel system has switched to piezo injectors APC. By turbo versions produce 286 horsepower and 580 newton meters of torque. At the moment, there are no issues with the reliability of this engine. No questions. However, future owners should pay attention to the swell flaps. They are likely to remove it. If not, then need to inspect the intake manifold for condensation under the swell flaps. Sky engine, a dense collector should not rattle. Rattling indicates that either one or both dampers are about to fail. Fall into the intake manifold, get between the pistons and valves, and cause the premature demise of this engine. Late and self These are the most powerful versions of the M57 engine. And also, so engines on an evil chip may require premature replacement of timing chains. For older engines, chains easily go. 500,000 kilometers for them, but in new engines, they may need replacing at 300,000. Uh, plus, you get the oil pump chain as a bonus. And, uh, oh well, we hope you liked our rating. You asked, we did. Ask for something else. We'll consider that too and do it as well. Write in the comments what you think. You have placed engines. If you want to know everything about engines, transmissions and parts, it's it. It's be sure to subscribe to our channel like this video visit our social networks check out our website buy we have great spare parts remember the company auto strong m has always been with you i can uh...